What's going on guys, Puma here, and here is a Call of Duty Ghost gameplay for you on the map, I believe it's called Strike Zone, where I'm playing, uh, I think it's Team Deathmatch. Uh, I do apologize for not posting a video in quite some time, I've been extremely busy with school, but uh, I finally have some free time, so I figured I'd shoot this video out. Um, another reason why I haven't really posted a video is, um, oh no, that's right, I was playing Free For All, my apologies. But, um... I have uh, some certain concerns with this game and um, problems that arose, and I don't feel that uh, this game really met my expectations in terms of an Infinity War Call of Duty. I mean, I don't know how far that goes for a lot of the community, because a lot of people um, still knock Modern Warfare 2 for having so many glitches and stuff, but I mean, I had a high expectations for this game, and unfortunately, um, I'm sorry to say Infinity War, you know failed to meet them just because of the way they design the maps and the way the game is you know the overall speed of the game uh it's not it's not really to the uh the type or style that i'm used to because i'm used to running and gunning i'm used to running throughout the map trying to find as many people as possible but as you can see in this gameplay i've had to reduce myself to basically just staying in this restaurant area the entire time just because of how many people and it's not even really in free-for-all that much I mean that guy is an exception he was just sitting in the back waiting but the majority of the people that I uh, encounter playing this game have been sitting in corners camping and just you know aiming down sight waiting for people who run around the map like myself to just uh, walk into their area and just shoot them. I mean, some some problems like the map designs and everything. Now, I'm not claiming I am, you know, an expert on, on map designs for any game. So, I mean, it, this is just a subjective opinion that I have. But I feel that a lot of the maps that this game um, is put in initially, uh, not only are they way too cluttered and are just full with, filled with, you know, just a lot of... Uh, little space that people can hide in. I also feel that the maps are too large. Now, this is, I believe, it's, it's either between this or free. But this, I'm guessing, is the smallest map in the game. And just even by its sheer size, it's still a pretty large map. I mean, I remember Modern Warfare 3, the maps were not this big at all. And, I mean... I, I understand, you know, putting in large maps, I mean, it gives a player more opportunity to explore. However, what it also does is cause someone to run around the map continuously trying to find people. Now, I mean, I'm all, I'm all for big maps and everything, but I mean, if you're going to put in big maps, Infinity Ward should have put in something that could help um, negate the effects of the big maps and trying to find people, and that's ground war. Now, I'm sad to say... You know, and I'm sorry to have learned that, you know, Infinity Ward had uh, eliminated Ground War from the situation or from this game completely just because I, I, I honestly couldn't even give you a reason or establish, you know, a train of thought of why they did it. I think it was a very idiotic idea because if they're going to make maps this big, they got to at least put in something that will allow more players to be in the map at one time so that people can, you know, find them. Now, free for all is a different story just because everyone spawns close to each other. But I'm talking about, you know, games like Team Deathmatch or, you know, Domination. Things that we're used to, or even Kill Confirmed for that matter. And there's another example of a guy just sitting in a corner waiting. But I mean, this video is wrapping up soon. I mean, there's only about another minute on it, so I'm not going to continually rant about the game. I mean, I do think the game is okay, and I will be posting more gameplay on it just because I want to get better at it. And I mean, this is the newest game out there. And uh, I was thinking about getting Battlefield 4, so I might do that too. But even though I said I wasn't going to, I'm also going to be posting videos on uh, Black Ops 2 again. Just because, I mean, after I decided to go from Black Ops 2 to this game again, just to see what it's like. And I just hit my microphone, sorry about that. And, um, I mean, the, the, the pace of the games are just, it's black and white, it's night and day. I mean, the Black Ops 2 gameplay is just so fast. And that's honestly something that I prefer. But, I mean, I, I this video is going to come to a close. I'm going to stop the commentary for right here. But uh, I'm going to be posting videos uh, in the future as soon as I can. 
So, I mean, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and, um, oh, also, happy Thanksgiving. This is, uh, I'm doing, uh, Thanksgiving commentary before my family gets here, just because, I mean, I actually did this commentary last night, but something was going on with my capture system, and it took a while for me to, uh, try to get the footage, and for some reason my capture card system isn't, you know, allowing me to put the audio file in, so, and just sign new an external microphone and let's see if I can get a better capture card system in the future. But please remember to rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you for checking out my channel. And until next time, Puma signing out. I'll see you guys later.